God says, Don't give up. I know you are under attack. That is just a sign that you are close to your breakthrough. The enemy has declared war against you and your family. But I have declared peace, victory, healing, and blessings over your life. And my word is final. So be encouraged this Sunday morning. Because the blessing you've been praying for is at your doorstep. Just open the door. Amen if you believe in God. Dear God, I humbly come before you, seeking reconciliation and deeper connection with you. Grant me the humility to recognize my faults and the strength to your forgiveness. I yearn for a personal relationship with you, to feel your presence in my life and to understand your will for me. Guide me along the path of righteousness, that I may grow closer to you each day. Help me open my heart to your teachings and embrace your love and grace. I pray for everyone who is reading this prayer right now, bless them and protect them. In your mercy, Lord, lead us to a deeper understanding of your ways in Jesus Christ's name we pray, Amen. God, I come before you today to ask for your blessing and protection over my home. As you say in your word, command your angels to guard me and prevent darkness from entering this space. Holy Spirit, I ask that you anoint this home with your spirit and fill it with your light. Bless every room, every corner, and every person who lives within these walls, as well as anyone who enters or exits through my doors. Lord, build a firewall of protection around this house, allowing only your presence to dwell within. Let no demonic presence enter and may all darkness flee from this place. I declare this home is a place of joy, peace, and happiness. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we are here again to praise you and thank HYONDAD for our lives. We still need your help, my God. Lord, we lift up our financial struggles to you. We need to help ourselves and our families. We have bills to pay, rent, our kids need to go to school, our parents are getting older, weaker and needing more care. Sometimes the struggles are so overwhelming. We trust you, God. We pray for a financial miracle, my God. Open doors of financial opportunities for us. You're all that we have, you're all that we need. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, Amen. Heavenly Father, as I stand at the threshold of this new day, I earnestly seek your direction and guidance. Show me the path you have set for me, guide my steps in righteousness. May your will be the compass that directs my decisions and actions today. Help me to recognize your leading in every situation, to be obedient to your call, and to walk with confidence knowing that you are with me. In moments of doubt or confusion, remind me that your plans are perfect and that you are always guiding me towards your best. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. It's okay not to have it all figured out. It's okay not to know where exactly you will be going or where you will end up. Just start somewhere. Just show up and see where God leads you. Commit yourself to be constantly learning and to face all with humility, success or failure, the known or the unknown. God has placed you here because he has a purpose for you in this moment, in this place. So keep going, one step at a time. 
He holds this all in his hands. I heard the Lord say, the recent attacks on your character are attempts to get you out of character and out of the spirit. Let go of the offense quickly. Lock eyes with me and my word. I will clothe you from on high. I will fill you to overflow with my spirit. Stand still. Hold your peace. You've got nothing to prove. No defense needed, for I am your defense. No rebuttal needed, vengeance is mine. I am fighting for you. God is saying to you today, today is your day for a miracle. You will keep looking up and forward. You are blessed and highly favored by a great God. You will not let negative thoughts occupy one ounce of your life. You are secure and full of joy. You are moving forward. This day will be a day of awesome opportunities that will outweigh any and every obstacle that may try to hinder your purpose. Get ready. The best is yet to come. Trust me. I love you. Hebrews 4.13 a.m. says, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Going outside at night and looking up at the sky is a powerful reminder of the majesty of God. The fact that God knows each star by name should give us a glimpse of his greatness and make our problems seem smaller in comparison. Remember, God is greater than all our probes. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 1 John 5:14. Don't worry about anything, instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need, and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4:6-7 NLT Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. 1 Peter 1:8-9 Within the next few weeks, Especially as the year is ending, God is going to be opening brand new doors as the doors to the old seasons are shutting. I see keys. I see brand new keys that unlock doors to destiny. There are still some remarkable last-minute miracles about birth even before this year ends. Dear God, I know that you are always with us, and I believe it. But, sometimes it's really hard because I truly can't feel your presence. Please transform my life, tell me what I need to do, because I want to feel your comfort every second of my life. Don't be surprised if God does something very uncommon in your life. Something unusual and unheard of. Something you really needed. A blessing for your heart. It's going to be a December to remember for you. Watch for your sign, it's coming this month. In Jesus' name. Matthew 18, 19-20 again, Truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Amen. Focus on Jesus. Talk to him. Be with him. Pursue him. In God's perfect timing, he will reveal beautiful pieces of what he has in store for you. There's joy in the stillness of waiting. He knows your future. 
So don't worry about it. Focus on Him. Do you put all your trust in God? Or does your true loyalty lie with the world and with your resources? Are you a friend of the world or do you have complete faith in the character of God, even if you are uncertain what He wants you to do or how He's going to answer your prayers? Scripture tells us, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. 1 Timothy 4.12 Peter 3 colon 3 dash for most importantly, I want to remind you that in the last days, scoffers will come, mocking the truth and following their own desires. They will say, what happened to the promise that Jesus is coming again? From before the times of our ancestors, everything has remained the same since the world was first created. God's promises will always be valid because we know that God is faithful. He will keep them all. Hebrews 10:23. When everything around us shakes, God will continue to be a solid rock on which we can firmly stand. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. 1 Peter 2 9